Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back. It's great to see you all. And um, we're here with Manny Pacheco of Forgotten Hollywood fame and my great partner, John Coleman. How are you doing, guys? Hey, good to see you, Manny. Very happy to be with you. We're celebrating uh, something special today, I hear. Mm. Um, we are? What are we celebrating? Act two? Uh, well, that and One Hit Wonders, I heard. Little birdie. Told One me. Hit Wonders. You are correct. Wow. And, and here, here's where I where I got the idea for this. Um, you're going to have to help me with the movie. It's the best years of our lives. Yes. Returning war hero. I can't remember the actor's name, but he had in fact lost his arms in the war in World War Two. Um, he was a key part of that movie. Did a great job. Won an Academy Award. Right. I don't think he ever appeared in another movie, did he? He wasn't. Uh, maybe he just wasn't an actor. He wasn't an actor. He was. He was. He was in planning to be an actor. He might have appeared in one or two other films that I'm. I'm. They were so small that nobody would remember. Harold Russell is his name. Yes. Uh, yes. Thank you. He was so inspiring in that film, and it's a film of of just inspiring moments, actually. But he was a standout, and he ended up earning an Academy Award nomination in a year that everybody expected Claude Rains to win for his performance in Notorious. So much so that they decided because he sh they felt he should get something because he was so so worthy of, of, of attention and appreciation that they gave him a special award, uh, which, which they do from time to time. Yeah. And so when they announced him as the winner for Best Supporting Actor and then wins the special award, he is the only actor, albeit in just one movie, um, but he only made one movie, uh, he, he won two awards from the Academy for his one role hmm. in the best wow. years of his lives. Interesting. Interesting. Playing the uh, playing the uh, the iconic Homer Parrish. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a great a great movie, a great part, and uh, did a wonderful job. Yes. But I was wondering, I it seems to me we see the same faces every year at the Academy Awards, for good reason. Mm -hmm. um, have there been other one hit wonders? Now, one hit wonders, of course, is a term that really comes from the uh, recording academy from uh, the Grammys, you know, you'd have, uh, particularly when we were going up, you'd have somebody who wrote a rock and roll hit in their basement, you know, it <laughs> hit the charts and you never heard from right, them. Right, 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 then you never hear but, from them. But have there been other actors uh, like that who have actually hit the, the pinnacle, won an Academy Award, and then never, uh, not that they didn't win another, another award, but never really appeared in movies again well there's one i i think he appeared in movies but i it's a sad story the very first academy award winner emil jennings uh he uh was a i mean just an established actor i believe in the silent era he wins his academy award but he wins the academy award just as adolf hitler is coming to power and he's german and he decides to defend the Nazi cause, the whole uh, the whole thing. And so he moves back to, to Germany and he becomes a, a loyal patriot of Adolf Hitler. And of course, that's going to end your Hollywood career faster than anything. And so here's uh, someone who had just lots of promise and, and ends up uh, now a, just, just an asterisk as far as actors go in, in the history of Hollywood. Yeah. And it's a shame. It's a shame. He probably made movies for for Hitler, you know, a, a part of that that group, but it, but uh, we surely don't remember him beyond his his initial wins uh, for 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 the Oscars in, back in like nineteen twenty nine nineteen thirty. So, it's kind of a kind of a sad story uh, yeah. for, for this really talented man. Another that I w I wanted to mention and. Um, this is this is what happens. They're not necessarily they, they may be one hit wonders in movies, but it's only because they have very big careers on Broadway. So they only make movies every once in a while. And a great example of this was the wacky Daffy Josephine Hall. Now, you probably don't remember her, but she won her Academy Award. She had only made three movies, by the way, in her whole her whole career. But two of those three movies are so iconic that you can't, you, you, once you see her face, you know exactly who she is. 
But she only made three movies and had a, just a lovely career on Broadway. Josephine Hull was, won her Academy Award for uh, her playing the sister of uh, James Stewart in Harvey. And she's that long-suffering sister who's always upset. Oh, she's that older lady. But she's probably better known as playing the aunt, one of two aunts in Arsenic and Old Lace who love to murder their their their, their uh, tenants, their lonely yes. tenants. So Josephine yeah. Hall won an Academy Award in 1950 for Harvey. And uh, she made three films, but, I mean, I think she qualifies as a one-hit wonder. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, what a good excuse. Hey, I'm busy on Broadway, you know. Well, there's another, and there's another actress that I would mention that also had just a tremendously uh, successful Broadway career, only appeared in a smattering of movies. I... I probably can count on one hand, but she's also known for her work on television. Mm. And that is the incomparable Shirley Booth. Oh, Hazel. You know her as Hazel. Yeah. But she, yeah. she won an Academy Award for one of her, one of the only few films she made, and that was Come Back Little Sheba with Burt Lancaster. And uh, she was so good in this film. I mean, it was just obvious she was going to take home the Oscar. But you would have thought that she would have had just an exciting career in film, but she just went back to Broadway, did her thing, and then television came calling, and she was on Hazel for, what, six, seven years? I mean, a long yeah. time. So, yeah. I mean, you would have thought that, boy, this, this is an individual that just should have had decades-long career in movies. Mm. Well, of course, that was the time when, if you moved to television... Sometimes you couldn't come back. You oh no, you're a television star. We need movie stars. You know. Yeah, and I think the actor that kind of changed all that for everybody was Ernest Borgnine mm -hmm. because he was so good in movies. And then when he became uh, Quentin McHale in McHale's Navy, yes. he was gonna, he was going to go back to the movies. He, there was just no way. And I think that he broke that spell. But he's definitely not a one-hit wonder. There is another one. Uh, more recently, probably I want to say in the late 1970s, Doctor Hang Noor who uh, was in The Killing Fields, um, mm. and he played a, Viet a Vietnamese refugee. And he, and truth be told, he really was a, a Vietnamese refugee. It, it was almost like, yeah, he mm. was almost like he was playing himself. Exactly. And yeah. the sad thing is that he, he died tragically. He was murdered uh, years after, but he didn't make any, any other movies that, you know, to speak of. So, again, a one-hit wonder. Wins an Academy Award for basically playing himself, but he played himself very well. <laughs> Sure did, yeah. And unfortunately, his life was cut short, uh, living in very dangerous uh, uh, places, and um, ultimately it caught up with him. So, yeah, Doctor Nor, it should also be remembered, even though he is a one-hit wonder technically. Well, actually, uh, I think that um, uh, the, the forgotten Hollywood world that you spent most of your time in, in the uh, the twenties, thirties, uh, maybe even into the forties a bit, uh, although you can bring us to modern days, but in today's world, it's not uncommon for people to be on stage and television and movies and seamlessly move back and forth uh, all the time right. so that, uh, 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 as a matter of fact, uh, I guess uh, EGOT, uh, uh, people winning Tonys and Grammys and, and Oscars. and Emmys, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah. that uh, even though like an Adrian Brody today, OK, uh, uh, who's been in a number of things, he, he won an Academy Award at some point, I guess. And uh, but he still appears in a lot of stuff. So he's a very active player. So right. You wouldn't consider I, him a one hit a wonder. No, I think I think another I think a more modern example. If you want me to to, to stretch and give you a, a modern example, I think the best example is Jean Dujardin in The Artist. Now, he's, he has appeared in, you know, he was in The Monuments Men, but I haven't seen him in anything else. Uh, he, he seems to be, and he's going to fall into that category, I, I believe, of, as a one-hit wonder. Absolutely terrific in the artist. Just just blew everybody out of the water with that performance. And yeah. then you don't see him again. I mean, wow. I mean, what? <laughs> how does that happen? Mm -hmm. yes. And the artist, and, and it wasn't that the artist wasn't a popular film. It won Best Picture of the Year. So why yeah. that happens, one never knows. Yeah.
It's, now there it's is an interesting category, isn't it? Yeah, and but there is one thing I will say. There is this spooky thing about the academies where, where pe people say, "Well, I really don't want to win the Academy Award too early in my career because it's been known to be a curse." <laughs> I've I've heard that as well. Um, and and hmm. and and the name that people turn to, although I think he had a fine career, was Kevin Klein, who was in, of course, a fish called Wanda. Mm. Yeah. I mean. He was doing fine after that. He got to play uh, Cole Porter and The Lovely. He was in Dave. I mean, yeah. I think he had a really wonderful career, but for some reason, they 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 put the Oscar curse on on Kevin Klein, and I I think it's unfair because I think yeah I think Ke Kevin Klein has had really a terrific career. I, I would agree with you, and he's he can do so. Right. He's uh, his talent is so broad. It's versatile. But, yes, but very he like versatile. many other of those kinds of actors who've done well are really stage actors. And that's what they go back to. I remember having seen him, I forget what play it was, but a straight play in uh, uh, Manhattan, years after, right. years after his uh, fame on uh, the movies. Uh, well, there's a number of there's a number of actors who appear just in a smattering of movies. They're not quite one hit wonders, but they might be three hit wonders or two hit wonders. And because, because they had great Broadway careers, Wendy Hiller comes to mind. Who's in my, in my books that I talk about Paul Schofield in the man for all seasons, Wendy Hiller winning her Oscar for separate tables. I mean, these are not household names, but if you go back to New York, and you talk about, or, or maybe, maybe you know, the old Vic in, you know, in, in England, and you mention these names, and they're they're godlike figures. And, sure. and Wendy Hiller and 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 Paul Schofield's case, they are British royalty, and literally royalty because of the, the fine work they've done across the pond. Well, I think yeah. well, I well, think I, we can end on the perfect example of not a one-hit wonder, uh, because quite frankly, it's not an Academy Awards unless she's nominated for something. Meryl Streep. <laughs> so she's the total opposite. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We think of Hollywood yeah. stars who are constantly in there uh, giving amazing performances and uh, being recognized as such. Yeah. That, that's that's actually, she's, she's the anti one hit wonder. Yeah. And, well, we, and remember how hard it is yeah. to win an Academy Award. Look at John and uh, myself. I mean, who would, who would have thunk after all these years that we wouldn't have had an honorable mention? Uh, I know. Well, I, I, I haven't been nominated yet. Let me leave you with this. You mentioned these one-hit wonders of people you never know, and then you come up with names that never were nominated for an Academy Award, and those individuals would just boggle your mind. Folks like uh, uh, Edward G. Robinson, or Myrna Loy, or Steve McQueen, or Boris yeah. Karloff, or Errol yeah. Flynn. I mean, these were big, big names. Never even got a nomination, much less an Oscar. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's another video. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you you got Never it. Never been invited to the prom. That's right. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate this engaging discussion for sure. See you soon, Manny. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.